Hello everyone. So I hope that you have uh, gone through the previous video on how to build a convolutional neural network and how to train a convolutional neural network for COVID-19 prediction using uh, X-ray images. So I think you have gone through it and covered the things that I have explained. And in this video, I'm going to uh, use that train model, the best model from that uh, training, the minimum, the model with the minimum validation loss and integrate, in a, integrate it in a web application using Python Flask and uh, some other uh, modules. So before going on to the explanation, I will uh, show you the project directory of this uh, Python backend. Uh, so you can see now, uh, so this is the main folder and we have this web app folder. In the web app folder, this app.py is the Python backend. And in the templates file, you have this HTML file and inside there is a JavaScript code as well. And also this model folder contains the best model from the neural network training. So this will be the Python backend as I mentioned. And uh, this will contain the, uh, the one and only page of the website. Okay, so uh, the template, I will explain the template later, but I will first uh, go to the Python backend called app.py. Uh, so this is the app.py where I'm going to use the Flask module. Uh, Flask is a web framework module available for Python and quite robust uh, uh, backend development uh, module, web framework developing module in Python. And also Keras model, I want to load the Keras model. So I have used the Keras models load, load model function. I have uh, imported it here and also the OpenCV module to do some pre-processing to the uploaded image and the NumPy and some other modules as well. So I have uh, defined the image size since now when we are going to like get a prediction from the neural network, we should uh, input the same size as the training data. So that's why I have mentioned the image, image size here and I will use it later as well. So here app flask name. So I'm going to create a Flask application. So this is a web app actually, a web application, let's say, or a backend. Uh, so this will be the uh, web app that we are going to use here. Then the neural network model will be loaded here from the model folder, the base model that we just saved. Then that model is uh, loaded into the model and uh, we have uh, created the label dictionary in the label dictionary. Now, as I uh, did in the training part of this uh, video, in that uh, we use the zero label for COVID-19 negative and one for COVID-19 positive. The same will be used here. And uh, this will be the function for pre-processing, right? So you can see this is the function for pre-processing. And uh, I will explain that later. And also this is the first route or the uh, URL. So this will be the home page. Uh, when our web apps home page is called index.html will be loaded. So index.html basically the HTML file here. I will explain that later as well. And uh, what will happen then we have another route here. So when this URL is called the predict URL, uh, the image will be taken from the uh, front end actually the front end we are going to take the message from the front front end and then we are going to extract the image coming from the front end and then we are going to decode it since uh, we are we have actually we are going to send it from the front end uh, encoded image a uh, string encoded image so we are going to decode it here back to uh, the image and uh, then uh, thereafter the image will be uh, so we are going to use this image open uh, from the pillow library available and uh, the pillow library using the pillow library we are going to take it as a convert it to an image and uh, load it here. Then what we are going to do that image will be passed to the preprocess function where the preprocess function is going to take that image and convert it to a numpy array and uh, if a color image is uh, coming from the front end we are going to convert it to gray otherwise we will uh, otherwise it's, if it is a gray image we are not going to convert it to gray then uh, the normalization as uh, we did for the training data we are going to convert it to uh, a 
pixel values will be converted to between 0 and 1. Then the resize, uh, the same resize, we are going to convert it to 100 and 100 image. So, uh, I want to uh, highlight this point. Now, whatever things that we did for the training data should be done for the testing data as well. I mean, when we are going to get a prediction, the same, uh, I mean, whatever the pre-processing things that we did for the training images should be done here for the testing images as well. So then the reshape for the uh, uh, reshape before applying it to the neural network and then the reshaped image will be uh, returned from here. So the test image will be the uh, uh, reshaped and the pre-processed image. Then we are going to apply into it to the neural network model.predict and model is the model that we just loaded in the uh, top of the code and uh, then we are going to get the argmax so now you know when the, there is a softmax activation usually uh, we are going to get a probability so we are going to take the maximum probability label that means 0 or 1 if uh, the probability of 0 or the COVID-19 negative is higher this will be 0 if the probability of COVID-19 positive is higher the result will be 1 since we have a 0 and 1 as the label then we are going to take the accuracy that means the maximum probability between 0 and 1 and that accuracy will be loaded here. Then what we can do, now we know that result will be 0 or 1. So using this label dict, you can see uh, the label dict is uh, uh, when it's going to see, when the label is 0, we are going to get COVID-19 negative and label is 1, COVID-19 positive. So we are going to get a string here. Uh, we are going to get a string here and uh, uh, yeah so this will be a string and we are going to uh, create a JSON uh, actually a dictionary here and uh, we are going to send back two values the result result will be COVID-19 negative positive a string and the accuracy as well so we are going to JSONify those objects that means we are going to convert it to a JSON object and return right so then uh, this code actually is for running this app the web app okay so this is the back end and uh, now we have to uh, go to the front end and understand uh, how it's going to send us this uh, decoded image right so whenever the predict URL is called or the back, uh, endpoint is called the encoded image will be coming from here right and the encoded image will be coming to here and we are going to somehow convert it and uh, decode it and get the image so we will move on to the front end i mean the html and the javascript code and uh, then explain i will explain how uh, what has happened there as well so before going on to this one i will uh, uh, show you the uh, actually the uh, implementation i will show you the front end then you can i can uh, easily explain this one so how to run this uh, so basically before running this one uh, whatever the libraries that i have used i have included them in this requirement.txt so if you are willing to run this code by yourself so please uh, install these libraries i have mentioned here so i i'm going to give you the library versions as well so it's easy for you to implement this one uh, actually uh, if these library versions are not matching with your current versions or tensorflow kera so whatever the versions what you can do you can create a virtual environment so you can search how to create a virtual environment in uh, anaconda so create a virtual environment with these libraries and run so then it will be easy for you to implement this otherwise you are going to end up with some errors since if the versions are not matching with my code and your uh, your already existing uh, anaconda version so there might be issues so the best thing is to uh, open this file and see the libraries and library version that I have used and uh, create a virtual environment in your Anaconda uh, Anaconda environments and install these libraries and uh, try to run these codes. Okay, now I'm going to run this uh, web application and show you uh, how to uh, run it and uh, load it in the uh, Google Chrome or whatever the browser. So you have to go to the web app folder and uh, here copy this location and open your anaconda prompt i'm going to uh, move to the path that i just copied here 
and uh, now what I can do I can run the code so this will uh, open the server the local host and run the code uh, yeah so now it says it's running on the local host so actually uh, for now I'm running this on the local host but this can be easily uploaded to a uh, host and run it from the internet uh, external host we can use external host and run this as well but for this uh, moment I'm going to run it in the uh, local host so I can copy this address and just uh, open the uh, whatever the browser and uh, go to that uh, address that's all then what we can do we can uh, open a file load the image and just hit on the predict so it's going to give us the probability and the label as well uh, another image yes so sometimes uh, this might give you uh, positive results for pneumonia SARS MERS and other stuff as well that's why I uh, mentioned at the beginning so this is not the accurate method to detect COVID-19 but it's going to give you in the aspect of uh, convolutional neural networks it's going to extract the features of a normal uh, a healthy person's x-ray uh, image and uh, uh, pneumonia or COVID-19 patients x-ray image it's going to extract different patterns right so that's what we are focusing on anyway so now I will go to the templates for folder and uh, index.html so I'm going to open it and show you the front end the code that I have implemented for this one okay so this is the as you know the title of the website so you know what's the title uh, so this is the title COVID-19 testing and uh, we have the title uh, header one so this is I think uh, you are familiar with these things and we have the image selector yeah, image uploader and also we have a button called predict right then uh, we have a label prediction and probability so we have given some ids to them as well results and probability so this is important why uh, in the javascript section we are going to use these ids as well so the image we have uh, the, the the shown image will be resized to width 100 so it's automatically done here and this is the javascript code that we are going to use for like uh, uh, upload the image and send it to the python backend right so what will happen this function will be called when uh, uh, image is open I mean image is loaded so it will be converted to a I mean this is going this is uh, going to work with PNG JPG and JPG and uh, it's going to convert it to a base 64 so that's what the encode encode or the this is the encoding mechanism that I was talking about so anyway it's going to get the image and convert it to base 64 so base 64 image what will happen this image will be converted into a string that's what happened and thereafter uh, the results and probability text so results and probability are these uh, labels actually so they will be uh, moved to empty right then what we are going to do once the predict button is clicked right so this function is working when the uh, image is uploaded right image selector change that means when the a new image is uploaded these things will happen what's going to happen the image will be converted to a bx64 image and also the uh, result and probability those labels will be set to empty and uh, <clears throat> then what we are going to do then what we are going to do uh, once the predict button is called we are going to call this function uh, then we are going to uh, this is the message or this is the content that we are going to pass to the backend so we are going to pass uh, so this is the key from the key image we are going to pass that base 64 image and uh, we are going to uh, call a post method here and uh, this URL will be called so you can remember this is the URL uh, or the endpoint that we are going to we that we uh, whatever things we did uh, so we did it in this URL so we are going to call it here and we are going to convert the message as a JSON object and we are going to pass it there then 
that image will be uh, coming here and we are going to decode it as I mentioned and we are going to convert it as an image and do whatever the pre-processing and apply it to the neural network and get the prediction and with the accuracy we are going to send them back. So in the, I mean, whatever things that we are going, we are passing back uh, in the JSON object, we are passing two things, right? With the key result and with key accuracy. So two keys are there. We are going to pass the label. That means COVID-19 positive or COVID-19 negative as well as the accuracy as well. So these two, in the response, what we are going to do, the response, we are going to take the response. I mean the return from that backend. So these, this will be the return from the backend and uh, that will be taken here and from the response we are going to take the result response result is you know the label right and uh, response accuracy is the accuracy that we are sending from here so those two things will be set to the results and probability right so that's how you are going to see the prediction and the accuracy here right so that's uh, simply this web application so quite simple you know I have just uh, used HTML and also some uh, a simple code of JavaScript and a Python backend implemented in Flask. So I think yeah, uh, you are going to take something from this uh, video, uh, how to create this backend and how to like uh, integrate neural network models in web applications as well. So go through my tutorials as well, the other tutorials in the videos. Uh, you can uh, get it from our YouTube channel. Uh, I have uploaded several videos regarding machine learning, deep learning and uh, artificial intelligence. So please go through these things and if you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe the channel. I'm going to come up with more interesting videos in the future. So thank you very much and see you on an interesting video next time.